Hi, I'm Vladimir. I'm reporting from Belgrade, Serbia. Today is uh, Monday, 23rd of March. Uh, in Serbia, the government introduced a state of emergency on 15th of March. Schools, nurseries and universities have been shut down. Um, the army was deployed to the streets, hospitals and borders, which are also uh, now shut down. Curfew was introduced uh, and public transportation and intercity connections are closed. Uh, people who are older than 65 are forbidden to leave their homes, while others can go out from 5 a.m. until 5 p.m. These measures were introduced after the situation rapidly uh, got worse. Uh, initially, officials were actually making fun of the epidemics. They were even recommending that women uh, for whom they claim they're resilient to the virus should go to Milan uh, for shopping since the sales period is approaching. And this was actually uh, stated uh, during the official government press conference a couple of weeks ago. Um, in uh, during uh, last weeks, uh, there was a huge deficit in masks, uh, in gloves, um, disinfectants, and also tests. Uh, China sent two planes full of these goods, and they also deployed a group of medical workers to Serbia. Uh, we are lacking in medical personnel. Like everywhere in Europe, our healthcare system was hit by austerity measures. Uh, this led to a significant outflow of medical workers to West Europe, especially to Germany. Uh, government is now initiating the campaign to bring them back, but it is mostly based on moral patriotic stance, and it is a big question whether they will uh, manage to inspire anyone to come back and work for wages that range from 350 euros for nurses up to 1,000 euros for medical specialists. At the same time, government lashed out at a huge number of uh, people who actually came back to, to Serbia from abroad. Some data shows that more than uh, 300,000 people came back uh, and some are still stuck on the airport ports uh, all around the world. Uh, President Aleksandar Vucic and his associates claim that these people came back only because they could get medical treatment for free here in Serbia, which of course is not true because medical treatment is not free in Serbia. Uh, they also, so the government uh, also blamed returnees that they were the one, uh, ones who brought coronavirus to Serbia. Uh, this kind of uh, negligent behavior could put in a dangerous position these people, most of whom left Serbia for work or studying uh, and to whom the temporary residence permissions were cancelled in the wake of Corona outbreak. Uh, it should be noted that despite the state of emergency, many workers uh, have to go to work every day. Some of them are not being provided with necessary protective equipment. Uh, for example, workers of Jura factory, one of the biggest foreign direct investments in Serbia, had to protest in order to get masks and gloves. Also, uh, single mothers who work uh, in Geox shoe factory are left with a choice either to stay at home to take care of their children who are now uh, who, who cannot go to nurseries and schools anymore um, or to lose their jobs. Um, also, global delivery workers uh, started to organize in order to push for the raise uh, of the salaries. So currently, we can see a lot of uh, social demands that are started that are starting to boil, um, and what will be the outcome of it uh, still remains open. I have to mention in the end. Uh, that yesterday, uh, as usually, uh, residents of Belgrade gave massive applause at 8, uh, but this time, beside uh, medical workers, the applause was also dedicated to the city of Zagreb, which was hit by a strong earthquake. Mm, in that way, Belgrade joined Sarajevo, Banja Luka and many other cities who also expressed uh, support to people of Zagreb. So, uh, solidarity is our main strength, obviously, in this period of crisis, and hopefully it is here to stay. Thank <laughs> you.